nightmare number eight. Lacey bought 25 fireworks. When she sorted the fireworks by color, she saw that there were four green, seven red, nine blue, and five pink. What percentage of the fireworks are green and pink? So this is a spiral back question. Okay. Five, four, seven, nine, five, right? Remember, we write it down because we are on the computers. So I'm writing down the numbers that I need or could possibly need. Um, Fireworks, green, red, blue, pink. Green, red, blue, pink. Okay. Um, percentage. Now this is when I'm going to evaluate. I need green and pink. Okay, so green is four. And pink is five. Okay. And so now I can solve it. But before I do, I made sure I read it. I pulled the information. What is my plan? Well, I need to use the box strategy. I also need to find my part before I can solve the entire question. Okay. So if I remember the boxes, A1 equals B1. A2 is going to equal B2, okay? And usually on our supplemental aid sheet, these are in boxes, right? Looks similar to this. Okay, and A1 we're gonna say is the green and pink, right? green and pink and this is going to be my total fireworks okay well the ratio is this is my percent of green and pink and this is my whole percent of green and pink okay so now I'm gonna put in my numbers. Well, green and pink, that is four plus five is nine, okay? And what is my whole? Well, my whole is 25. And my whole percent is 100, but what I don't know is my part percent, okay? Now, you could actually solve this in a couple different ways, okay? I'm going to show you um, how to solve for x because this is what we're going to be doing in a couple units. So what we're going to do is we're going to cross multiply 25x equals 900. Okay, I need to get that x by itself, so I'm going to isolate the variable using inverse operations. And what I do on one side, I do on the other. Okay, well 25 divided by 25 is going to be 1, and 1 times x is going to be x. Okay, 
So now my x is by itself. Now I need to divide to find out how many times 25 can go into 900. Okay, I'm going to come down here, take up this space. Again, you're doing test corrections on notebook paper, so... Okay, 25 times 1 is 25, but it's 50, 75, 100. 25 times 5 is 125, 150, 175, 200, 225, okay? Um, and now I'm going to divide. I got some chocolate there from my snack last night. <laughs> okay. Hold on. I love you too, honey. Okay. Sorry about that. Okay. So how many times can 25 go into 90? Well, they can go three times but it cannot go into nine. So I'm going to bring that down. That's 75. How many times can it go into 150? Six. Okay, so my answer is D. Now, another way that you could have solved this is if you knew I'm going to use a different color. If you knew 925, right, and I can get to 100, well, I could have used my multiplies of multiples of 100, which I'm not going to rewrite because I'll show them to you. I thought I had them handy. I guess I don't, so I'll rewrite them. Mm, I'll put it over here. I've got 1 times 100, 2 times 50, 4 times 25, 5 times 20, and 10 times 10 are my multiples of 100, right? Well, I've got 25 here, so 4 In 25, right, that would be 36 over 100, and we know that percent is per 100, okay? So in that case, I could have used my common denominator of 100 to find that percent. So um, sometimes it works out that nice, and sometimes it doesn't. So I showed both ways that you could get to that answer.